Shalom, family Messiah Yeshua. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 22, and starting at verse 24. Matthew, chapter 22, and verse 24. Again, Matthew chapter 22 and verse 24 and I read When well, many are called but few are chosen I turn to Matthew 24 and verse 24 Matthew 24 and verse 24 and I read For there shall come For there shall arise false Hamashiach and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible they shall see the very elect Turn to First Peter, chapter one, and start at verse one. First Peter, chapter one, and verse one, and I read: Peter, an apostle of Yeshua Hamashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the fore discernment of Yahweh, the Abba through separation of the Spirit of Yahweh. For what purpose? To be obedient unto Yahweh and to be reconciled unto Yahweh by the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. He bids in favor and shalom multiplied. I read that to say this. Abba Yahweh will save only his election. Abba Yahweh will save only his election. That means this. Only the chosen are reserved for the eternal kingdom. To enter it and to fellowship in it. Before the foundation of Shamaim, which is heaven. And the Eretz, which is earth, Yahweh has chosen those whom he will save. He has reserved unto himself those who will receive his fellowship. In the process of time, Yahweh has sent his favor, his mercy, and compassion to draw his chosen unto himself by opening their heart and granting them repentance and faith to receive his word and to walk therein continually throughout the series of moments of their life. So Abba Yahweh deals with his chosen. As it's written in the scripture, me are called. Me are invited to receive eternal life. But only the chosen will actually receive it, will actually come. So it is a waste of time to argue with no anyone concerning the word of Yahweh. Those who are chosen of Yahweh will not only hear the word of Yahweh, but their heart will be open to receive it and the walk therein. That is, the chosen we hear the word of Yahweh, submit themselves unto the word of Yahweh, repent of their sins, take on the name of Jesus Christ in water baptism for the pardon of their sins and the regeneration of their soul, and they'll receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in the tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak, and they'll diligently learn the way of Yahweh and walk therein all the day. This is the life of the chosen. 
but the life of those who are not chosen is the life of those who are reserved for damnation. As is written in Romans chapter 9 and verse <clears throat> Romans chapter 9 and verse 9 and verse 11. Starting at verse 11. Romans 9 and verse 11 and I read. For the children being not yet born neither having done any good or evil that the purpose of y'all according to election might stand not of works but him that calls. It was said unto her the elder shall serve the younger as it is written Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness for Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I, have, I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of Yahweh that shows mercy. For the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised you up, that I might show my power in you, and that my name might be declared throughout all the erets. Therefore has Yahweh mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will and whom he will he hardens. You will say then unto me, Why does he yet find fault? For who has resisted his will? No, but, O oh man, who are you that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why have you made me thus? Have has not the power potter has not has not the potter power over the clay? Of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor, another vessel unto dishonor? Well if Yahweh wouldn't destroy his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessel of wrath fit for destruction, and that he might m make known the riches of his glory on the vessel of mercy which he had afore prepared unto glory. You see, Abba Yahweh is sovereign, absolutely sovereign over his creation. So his will is absolutely free to choose whom he was saved and to reserve whomsoever to damn. Yahweh is creator. He is sovereign absolutely over his creation. And is worthless of the creation. The creature. Which is us. To criticize or condemn Yahweh. For whatsoever he so chooses to do with his creation. For that cause. Yahweh has chosen. Few. For salvation. And the few that he's chosen for salvation. They will be delivered by his eternal word. By compliance. And submission to his word. Throughout the series of moments of their lifetime. Whereas those who are reserved unto eternal damnation. Throughout the course of their series of moments. They would disobey Yahweh. They would disobey Yahweh. So 
So let us trust Yahweh and submit absolutely and completely unto His will with the understanding and the certainty that Yahweh is absolutely sovereign. That those who have been reserved unto salvation will be not only prepared, developed, established in the word, but they shall receive what Yahweh has reserved them for, which is eternal salvation. So continue to serve Yahweh with that absolute and great confidence and assurance that Yahweh will guard you and preserve you for life return. Continue to hold to the word of Yahweh. We who are charged to preach and teach the word of Yahweh. We're, we're, we're not to argue with no man. For it is Yahweh's word. And Abba Yahweh who will guarantee the results of his word. We just submit ourselves unto the direction and the unction and the inspiration and revelation of Yahweh's spirit. To preach and teach the word. With the understanding that Yahweh will produce the results. Whether we are faithful in planting the seed of the word into the hearts of men and women or whether we're faithful in watering those seeds that were sown into the hearts of men and women but Yahweh he's responsible for giving the increase for giving the results so let us not argue with no man let us not debate with no one in fact it's written we're not to give that which is set apart and with this Precious unto a dog and pig. Because all a dog and pig, which are unclean animals, all they would do with that would set apart, which is precious, which is the word of Yahweh. Because the word of Yahweh is both set apart unto Yahweh and both precious. All the unworthy would do is just cast reproach upon it, will despise it, mock it, and not only reject it. But he will reject those that seek to present it to him. So let us not dialogue much with the unworthy. But continue. If you've been charged of Yahweh to preach and teach the word of Yahweh. Preach and teach the word. Yahweh will guarantee the results. Leave the results with Yahweh. You just submit yourself unto Yahweh's unction, Yahweh's inspiration, and Yahweh's revelation to preach and teach the word. For our Yahweh is the one who enables and grant ability unto his messengers to preach and teach the word. Fear not men, because there's no man that can stand before you with Yahweh not only backing you but Yahweh protecting you for he has invested his sovereign authority and power in his messengers to both bind and loose so any man that seeks to mess with the messenger of Yahweh will court death Because Yahweh's messengers have the power and authority to issue a, heavy, a heavenly curse upon you. A heavenly plague that Yahweh backs. That Yahweh sent forth upon all enemies, all adversaries of his messengers and of his people. So stand firm in all of Yahweh's word. Fear not your enemies. 
For there's no one that can stand before you. As long as Yahweh stand with you and in you. For our Yahweh is greater than your enemies. Our Yahweh is greater than Rock for PD. Our Yahweh is greater than Rock for Sheriff Department. Our Yahweh is greater than any government, any nation of this erect, whether past, present, or future. Our Yahweh is greater than Lucifer, the fallen angel. He's greater than no one, absolutely no one, that can topple and resist and that can overcome our Yahweh. So stand firm in Yahweh. Remain unmoved in Yahweh. Remain abounding in Yahweh. And you and you do this by remaining faithful and submitted unto his word. Remain faithful and submitted to every word that proceeds out of his mouth. For this is your whole armor. This is your defense. This is your protection. So hold fast to the word of Yahweh. Hold fast to the word of Yahweh. Those who do not know Yahweh. This is your opportunity to come to know Yahweh. But first, you must repent of your sins. You must repent of your sins. And you must become, in order to be repenting of your sins, you must become set apart, sorrowed for having violated his law. And for presently violating his law. And you must choose to turn from it. And to place your faith in his appointed Messiah, an instrument to be reconciled unto Yahweh, that is on his son, Jesus the Messiah. In so doing, you will be born into Yeshua HaMashiach by way of the new birth. That is, you take on the name of Jesus Christ in water baptism, that you may receive the pardon and the regeneration of your soul, and you must receive that separate spirit that comes from Yahweh out of heaven, and the initial and external proof that you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit is speaking in another tongue, as Yahweh permits one to speak, and you must walk as Yeshua of Nazareth walk, that is according to every word of Yahweh. O oh, sin, you must repent of your sins. Why? Because the way to the sin is death. You cannot continue to labor in your sin. You cannot continue to labor in your transgression of Yahweh's law. For the way to the sin of death. It's written in Galatians. Or rather 1 Corinthians. Chapter 6 and verse 9. First group chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived, not a fornicators nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor rowers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest with the deed, adultery, Fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, hatred, or rather witchcraft, hatred, variance, 
immolation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, enemies, murders, drunkenness, revelation, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told in time past, that they would do such things and not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Turn to Revelation chapter 20 and verse 8. Revelation 20 and verse 8. Or rather 21 and verse 8 rather. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have the part in the lake with burning fire and brimstone with the second death. Revelation 22 and verse 15, for without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murders, and idolaters, and whoso loves and makes a lie. So if you labor in sin, you shall not inherit Yahweh's kingdom. If you labor in sin, you shall inherit the lake of fire. Where is the lake of fire? The lake of fire is eternal torment. Those who are reserved and who will be cast into that lake of fire, they will eternally burn in the pit of fire and brimstone. There will be no relief, there will be no parole, there will be no escape from the lake of fire. It doesn't matter if you are the sheriff, doesn't matter if you're the police chief, doesn't matter if you're the president, it doesn't matter if you're a prime minister, doesn't matter if you're king, doesn't matter if you're queen, doesn't matter if you're celebrity, it doesn't matter if you're not celebrity. If you labor and sin, you shall inherit that labor of lake of fire. For the wage of sin is death. For that cause you must repent of your sin. And be baptized, every one of you, in the blessed name of Yeshua HaMashiach, that you may receive the pardon of your sin and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as initially evident by speaking in other tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. And then you got diligently follow on to know Yahweh by learning His ways, by learning His word, and live all your days according to every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth for in order to inherit, in order to earn eternal life, you got to obey Yahweh's word. You got to do His commandments. You must work to enter the kingdom of Yahweh. So sinner, repent of your foolishness. Repent of your bullshit lifestyle. Repent of your fucked up ways. For if you don't repent, your ass is reserved for the lake of fire. Where there's no parole, where there's no escape, there's no relief or comfort. You will be cast into the eternal fire reserved for Lucifer and his angels. So repent of your sins. Turn away from your sins. Submit unto the word of Yahweh. Submit unto being reconciled unto Yahweh by faith in his son. And if you believe on his son, you will take on the name of Yahweh's son in water baptism. That you may be granted pardon of your sins. That you may be granted the regeneration of your soul. That you may have your prayers heard and received by Yahweh. That you may receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost. As initially evident by speaking in another tongue. And Yahweh permits one to speak. This is what you must do. This is the message of the last days. You got to do this to be saved. Now, if you're chosen of Yahweh, you're going to see whatsoever I've said. As Yahweh has inspired me to say. But if you're not chosen, you will, I expect you to mock it, to ignore it, to hate it, to despise it. Because you're not chosen of Yahweh. And thus, your heart will become harder, harder, and hardened in sin. Until you're given over to a repent mind. And Yahweh will grant you a strong illusion that... His intention may be fulfilled upon you. Which is the damn. 
Yahweh has no obligation to save nobody. But through his infinite mercy, he has chosen to save his election. If you're the election of Yahweh, Yahweh not only draws you, but he will enable your heart to both believe and repent and submit unto his word. If you hear the election, Yahweh both will enable and get ability your heart to both believe and repent and submit unto his word. So in the day you hear the word of Yahweh, don't reject it. Submit yourself. And the day you hear this word, don't reject it. Because the difference between election and damnation is those who have a particular response to the word of Yahweh. And based on your response to Yahweh's word, we determine if you're election or if you're damned. If you're election, you want to faithfully submit to the word of Yahweh. But if you're damned, you will continue to resist it, continue to mock it, continue to hate it, and so forth that you're damned. And in that great white throne judgment, you're going to be cast in that lake of fire, and you're going to burn forever and ever. Before that great white throne judgment, if those who make it to the time of your cold trouble or the great tribulation, those who are not chosen of Yahweh, they're going to end up worshiping the anti-Messiah, the anti-Christ. And they'll take their mark and be doomed. So, in the day you hear Yahweh's voice, don't reject it. Don't despise it. Don't mock it. Submit yourself. Submit yourself. Oh Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for bringing your servant the unction and the inspiration to speak forth your word of truth. I beseech you, O Yahweh, according to your great power, your infinite and healing mercies, that you draw your chosen, whom you chose before the foundation of Shamaim and Eretz, to both hear and receive and submit unto your word. As you have chosen, show for your great part, your great power, and your great compassion and great mercy in the hearts of your election. Continue to display your mercy, your favor, and your loving kindness upon your election that we may be preserved and prepared for your glorious kingdom to come. I thank you, o Yahweh, for granting your servant the opportunity, the wisdom, the power, and the favor to speak forth your word truth. Continue to guard us from every evil work and work of darkness. Continue to fight against our enemies, O Yahweh. Particularly the enemies of your servant here in Rockford, North Carolina. Fight against Rockford PD. Fight against Rockford Church Park. Continue to send into them and upon them and surround them your great curses, your great plagues, your great terrors, your great fury, and your great judgments. Cast them down, O Yahweh. Multiply your woe and your agony and your fury upon them, O Yahweh. You raise up continual adversaries against my enemies in Rock Repeat and Rock Restore upon. You send forth your destruction upon them. And you show no mercy, O Yahweh. As you done to the enemies of your people aforetime, you do so ten times over unto my enemies in Rock Repeat and Rock Restore upon, O Yahweh. You strike them down, O Yahweh. Show forth your great right hand and your great set apart arm, O Yahweh. I give your name honor, glory, and praise, O Yahweh. I thank you, O Yahweh. So be it. So be it. Remember, family, please show your support by sending a donation 
to either my Cash App or PayPal. As you're able and enabled of Abba Yahweh, please send a donation. Please send a donation. Whether to my Cash App, PayPal, MoneyGram, Western Union, is the responsibility and the obligation of the family of Yahweh to support the work and the workers of Yahweh, to support the less fortunate members of the house of Yahweh. So please send a donation. Pray for your beloved brother. Pray for one another. I love you all, family. May y'all bless all those that will hear and receive Yahweh's word. May y'all bless all those that will faithfully and cheerfully give without grudging or compulsion. I love you all. Shalom, shalom, and shalom.